right, in this video we will talk about file management. So file management is important for a couple of reasons. So the first thing is if I'm in an assignment and I am building an assignment, I'll notice that I have um, some information off to the right and I like to call this the toolbox because any content that I want students to link to in my from my assignment can be found here so if I want to create a link I can do a couple of things first thing is I create whatever word it is that I want the students to click on and I highlight that word if I want the students to link out to content outside of canvas I will click on this link to URL button and then I will paste in the URL that I want that word to link to and insert link Okay, but if I want students to link to content within Canvas, a page or an assignment or quiz from this particular assignment, then again, I will make sure to have my word and hi highlight it, and then select what I want it, that word linked to. Perhaps it is a page that has some Quizlet information on it. So that is an internal link within Canvas and those are important because when we export and import courses it is important that these links for internal course content come from this area otherwise those links will be broken and it causes a lot of work at the beginning of a new semester for an instructor so when creating internal links or links to content within Canvas make sure and do it from this panel the next thing that we have are files. If I'm working within Canvas and I would like my students to link to a particular file, again I will highlight whatever word it is that I want to create become a link. Now if I don't have the file in here yet I can upload it. Let's say that I want students to have access to, um, let's see, maybe the map to the college. All right, so I'm going to choose that and then upload. Once that file has been uploaded, it shows right here under the list of course files. If that file is an image, it will also show up over here under the images tab. We'll talk about that in a second. You'll notice that this word that we have hi had highlighted was automatically linked to the image. Now, if we already had the file in the files area, we could simply create a word such as map file, highlight it, and then click on the document and it will create a link between that document and that word. Okay. The next thing is images. So you notice that we actually get a small preview of the image that was uploaded. If I would like an image to show up in the assignment, I simply place the cursor where I want, click on the image, and it will put that image directly into the assignment. We can save it to see what that looks like. So here we see our links to different uh, either web pages or files um, or we can put it direct put the image directly into the assignment okay so as you go building assignments it's possible to get a lot of files and to manage those files there is a file section in canvas titled files it's important to create folders so it might be good to create a folder called images we do that by typing that in there and clicking the check box. We might also want a folder and be careful uh, where you're building folders and I'll explain that in a sec. So if I create another folder called documents right, I can put any related images into the image folder by simply clicking them and dragging them in. Right. Um, I can also upload documents. So if I click upload, 
Um, let's say that I have a document here, a Word document. Um, those can don't have to be uploaded into assignments. They can be uploaded into the file section. And they can be managed, obviously, from the file section as well. So I'm going to click that and drag it to Documents. Okay. So um, if I click on the top level file here, Playground, it's going to show me everything that is within that. If I select Images, it's going to show me everything that I have in that folder over here. And if I click Documents, it's going to show me all of my documents. Let's say that, for example, I accidentally, under Images, put or have a document that shouldn't be there. I can move that over to Documents, again, by simply clicking and dragging it to the appropriate folder. And there it is. It is also possible sometimes to place a file folder um, in the wrong spot. For example, if I have accidentally done something like this, let's say that I click on Playground, and then I have my file folder documents, and I have my images within the documents folder. That could be a problem, right? So when I click on documents, I see that I have my documents, but also the images folder. That could be problematic. To fix that, all we have to do is click on um, the file that is in the wrong place and then drag it to the correct location over here. So I actually want the images folder to be under playground, not documents. So I'm going to click images, drag it over, place it in playground, and then it is in its correct location now where it should be. Okay, so this is how Canvas allows us to manage our documents and files and folders. And so hopefully, um, by knowing about this, you can stay organized, um, cr create correct links in Canvas to your files and, and documents. So that's it for this one.